Hey everybody, welcome to Kevin's Auto Channel. I'm Kevin Walters and today I want to talk to you about the new, maybe improved for 2019 and up, the 5.3 liter L84 Chevrolet Vortec engine. Chevrolet was founded in 1911 in Detroit. Today, they serve over 100 companies and sell approximately 4 million units per year. The Silverado was redesigned in 2019, and with that redesign came a new series of engines, the 5.3 liter and the 6.2 liter. Now here's what Chevrolet has to say about the all new 5.3 liter V8 engine, originally starting all the way back in 1995. From Detroit, it says that the all new 2019 Silverado 1500 will offer the most advanced gasoline V8 engines in the brand's history. Updated versions of the proven 5.3 liter and 6.2 liter V8s with dynamic fuel management. The industry first cylinder deactivation technology enables the engines to operate in 17 different cylinder patterns to optimize power delivery and efficiency. Now Chevrolet first introduced the active fuel management system which was on the previous generation Silverado back in 2005 and today's version of the dynamic fuel management is just a progress in the technology. The dynamic fuel management system enables only the cylinders needed to deliver the power that you want seamlessly delivering the best of performance and fuel efficiency. Compared to the active fuel management, which alternates between eight and four cylinders, dynamic fuel management features 17 cylinder patterns. That greater authority mixes cylinder patterns constantly to optimize the efficiency and power delivery at all speeds. During the testing for the 2019s on a two-wheel drive model, the 2019 Silverado operated on less than eight cylinders more than 60% of the time and that is 9% more than models equipped with active fuel management. Dynamic fuel management is powered by a sophisticated controller that continuously monitors every moment of the accelerator pedal and runs a complex sequence of calculations to determine how many cylinders are needed to meet the driver's requested torque. And it can do this up to 80 times per second. An electromechanical system deactivates and reactivates all 16 of the engine's hydraulic valve lifters controlling the valve actuation. The system uses solenoids to deliver oil pressure control ports in the lifters, which activate and deactivate the lifters latching mechanisms. When a cylinder is deactivated, the two-piece lifters effectively collapse on themselves to prevent them from opening the valves. When the cylinder is reactivated, solenoids send an oil pressure signal to the control ports on the lifters and latching mechanism restores normal function, allowing the valves to open and close. The increased reviability of the dynamic fuel management system means that the engine will operate more often on a reduced number of cylinders, which saves fuel across the board. Better yet, the transitions are transparent, and because the system is torque-based, you've always got the satisfying feeling of power on demand that comes from Chevy's Gen 5 small block V8s. The 5.3 liter V8 dynamic fuel management system is certified at 355 horsepower and 383 foot-pound of torque and is matched with a hydromatic eight-speed automatic transmission. The 5.3 liter and the 6.2 liter V8 engines also include a driver selectable automatic start and stop feature to help save fuel on stop and go traffic. And both engines are made at the General Motors Tawananda engine plant in Buffalo, New York. So here are some specs on the 5.3 liter V8 engine with dynamic fuel management for 2019 and 2020 Silverados. The block and the cylinder heads are made of cast aluminum. The compression ratio is 11 to 1. The firing order of this engine is 18726543. The valve train is overhead valve, two valve per cylinder, variable valve timing. 
Fuel delivery comes from direct high pressure fuel injection with a dynamic fuel management system. The ignition system is powered by high energy coil on plugs. Horsepower for this 5.3 liter is 355 at 5600 RPM. Torque is 383 foot pound of torque at 4100 RPM. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell notification so you know every time I drop a video. And please like this video. It really helps the channel out. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers in the next couple of months. Let's make it happen. So now you know a little bit more about this 5.3 liter V8 found in my 2019 Silverado 1500. All of that sounds good on paper, but how is it in reality? Well, I can tell you that the engine has plenty of power. But here's the downside to this engine. And here's the downside with this fuel management technology in general. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Does it save on fuel? Possibly. Without it running in V8 all the time? Most likely, yes. But if you're a guy or gal who likes to modify their trucks or their cars, if you're a person who likes to have a nice loud exhaust on your truck, well, this is where the downside comes in. So the engine sounds great when it's rumbling, when it's idle, even when you're taking off. But once the dynamic fuel management takes over, then it's a whole different story. Now if you've got stock exhaust on your truck, you really don't notice it because the truck is so quiet. But if you've got a custom muffler like I do, or a custom whole exhaust cat back or axle back, then you're going to notice it. See when the cylinders cut out, all of a sudden you hear a four-cylinder drone. I think of it like it's sounding sort of like a mid-90s Pontiac Grand Am four-cylinder. It's just got this weird, loud four-cylinder drone to it. Even though it may be in anywhere from six cylinders and below, it still has that four-cylinder sounding drone to it. And quite frankly, driving around in this big truck, at least for me, hearing that drone of the cylinders that are deactivated, it kind of gets on my nerves. It actually gets on my nerves a lot. And to me, it takes away from the driving experience. I hate to say that, I love this truck, but the one thing I can't stand about this truck is hearing the engine drop cylinders and hearing that constant drone. Now. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that I bought a range technology OBD2 port adapter that's supposed to help, but that's for active fuel management vehicles, not dynamic fuel management vehicles. Dynamic fuel management is a whole lot more complex system because it's not just going from V8 to four cylinder mode. It's got 17 different cylinder configurations that it can go through. So I like the truck. I wanna love the truck. I just wish there was a way to cut off the dynamic fuel management system in this truck. GM put a button in to deactivate the auto start stop feature. Why couldn't they put a button in to deactivate the dynamic fuel management system? It's like GM has forced this technology on you if you buy one of their trucks, whether it's a 5.3 liter or a 6.2 liter V8. They both have this technology and you don't have the option of not using it. You have to use it. So if you're looking to get a new 2019 or 2020 or even future Chevrolet Silverado or, or any GM product with a 5.3 liter or a 6.2 liter V8, go for it. But just remember, if you're going to customize your exhaust, well, 
you're going to pay the price in more ways than one. I hope you like the drone of a four-cylinder sounding engine. That's just the facts. Now GM, if you're listening to this video, please take my advice, add a button or an option in the menu system of this truck to deactivate the dynamic fuel management system. I think you will find that you will sell more units and you will have more happy clients, but you're probably not gonna take my advice, but still, that's my opinion. So if you liked the video today, please take a second, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, like this video, and drop me a comment. Have you experienced the new dynamic fuel management system in the 5.3 liter and 6.2 liter V8 engines on GM products? What's your take on it? Do you prefer it? Would you rather have a straight V8 that's V8 all the time? I know I would. Or do you like their technology? Do you do a lot of highway driving and, and this technology actually benefits you? Maybe so. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm Kevin Walters. You're watching Kevin's Auto Channel. Be sure, click on the next video and watch it and try your best to make the most out of this quarantine situation. I hope you have a great day today.